there are a lot of AI software engineers that propose to be able to build functional apps from the back end all the way to the front end. However, many are hard to actually access this waitlist or they fail to execute complex engineering tasks or some are just spreading fake lies about their accomplishments. Well, what if I was to tell you that there is an open source autonomous AI software engineer that's capable of executing complex engineering tasks and collaborating actively with users on software development projects. This is a great app that will enable anyone to build end-to-end -end apps within a couple of seconds locally. This is where I would like to introduce Open Hands, which is something that is super accessible to anyone and i'm going to be showcasing how you can install it locally today just take a look at this demo video which showcases the ability to execute code generation and modification you have web screen launch development project creation and installation of required modules within one platform and remember these tasks can be carried out autonomously now there's so much more to this and we're going to get into it by showcasing how you can install it and then showcase some of the features afterwards so let's get straight into it so currently you can install this for linux mac os or for wsl on windows so for the people who do not know this is a subsystem for ubuntu on windows so you can get this by installing ubuntu's desktop and you can install wsl so that you can easily access this open hands framework once you have installed this, if you're on Windows, you just need to simply install Python and Docker. And once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, just make sure that the Docker version 26 and above is installed or the Docker desktop version, which is 4.31.0. Once you have these installed, just simply open up your command prompt if you're on Mac OS or Linux. But if you are on uh, Windows and you have WSL, just simply search up WSL system. Once you have it opened up, you want to make sure that you have Docker open up as well. So open up Docker desktop, make sure that you have it opened up in your taskbar on the bottom, right? Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. And just paste this in by copying this command. And once you have pasted it in, just click enter. And this is going to basically compose the Docker containers. It's going to start downloading it and it will be opened up on your local host port which is 3000 so you can have this opened up on your local host i'm actually going to open up in a new tab because i need to have this repo open but once it finishes installing i'll be right back and i'll showcase this and it will basically show that it is ready on your local host when it showcases that unicorn running on your local host so simply open it up by refreshing this link and there you go you have open hands finally installed locally now what you can do is select different types of agents that have already been created for you these are templates for example you have a browsing agent you have a code act agent which is for execution code suite agent you have a coder agent commit writer agent and so many more so just select the one that you want to work with you have the ability to utilize local models as well as all of these other models that have been and labeled over here in my opinion i'm just going to utilize the gpt4 omni or the anthropic model but simply paste in your api key uh, you can enable confirmation mode and once you have done that just simply click save so i'm going to quickly go paste in my api key and it's very simple you have the code editor over here you have the browser agent which will source through different web searches and you have the jupyter python tab over here you also have your terminal which will showcase all the different code executions being made you have the ability to turn on sound you can go over to the settings tab to change the model as well as the agent and you can then simply restart or start a new task now i want you guys to take a look at this video example which is going to showcase that it will be able to execute various sorts of commands such as the ability to modify different repositories as well as having the ability for web screen launch and the deployment of projects and creations. So in this case, it's gonna clone the repository and it's gonna be able to make a specific specified fix in that area. So you can see that it has a five step process. You simply paste in this command. It's gonna start a new task and within the terminal, you're gonna be able to see all the edits being made. You just need to simply provide the workspace that you wanna work on. And within a couple of seconds, it's gonna start on doing these things such as cloning the repository, focusing on the fix itself. And as I, Go through the video you're going to be able to see these changes being made and 
if you want to basically intervene you can also do so in the just it is generating one sort of command or one step and you're going to be able to basically give in your inputs on what sort of things need to be made and on the right hand side you're going to be able to see a good idea of what is being generated and in this case it will be able to fix your issues and it will be able to also build different apps for you so now let's take a look and basically explain the agents and the capabilities so you have these different types of acting agents and in this case the main agent is the kodak agent that kodak has in not the wrapper but code act agent and it's designed to simplify and enhance the actions of LM agents. And what's going to basically happen is that this Kodak agent is going to consolidate all of these different action items into unified code action spaces. So this will basically make the agent more efficient and easier to use and basically have it so that's easier to send in these different actions. It starts off with an observation. It will then send it over to the agent, which is going to then have it consolidated it's going to think about it plan it with different th types of methods and algorithms like chain of thought you have self-reflection and improving action from prior observations from here an action set which will basically have the kodak agent have unified action space within a different environment or have it sent within a conversation to the user and within this loop it's going to be able to work on enhancing and having a more efficient and easier way of generating an answer now at each interaction you're going to be able to see that the kodak agent can have a conversation meaning that there's going to be a communication with humans in natural language so this is where you're going to be able to chat with each step of the generation which is something that we saw with prior examples you also have kodak which is going to choose and execute tasks by running code and it's going to choose the best approach based on the situation you have it able to be executed with any valid Linux bash command or execute any valid Python code, which is basically an interactive Python interpreter. And this is something that is used to run the Python code that is simulated through bash commands for more flexibility. On the back end, you also have a plugin system, and this is where they have basically made the Kodak agent more powerful with the use of different accesses to bash action spaces you also have the ability to integrate various other plugins you have different actions that you can set in you can observe with different things like langsmith you have methods a planner agent which is another type of agent and this planner agent will basically utilize a specialized prompting strategy to create long-term plans and this is for solving the different problems that is sent in to the framework itself and just to emphasize on what sort of LMs you can use, like I mentioned, you can possibly use any LM with this framework. You can have a pull request with Olama, meaning that you can utilize all local large language models with open hands. Now, I truly recommend that you get started and utilize open hands to see what you can actually do with it. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure if you have any sort of concern or question, Leave it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer these different requests. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page so that you can get started with all of these different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.